Stadium Stadium will host the first match of the 2013 FIFA Club World Cup, pitting Moroccan champions Raja Casablanca against Oceania champions Auckland FC from New Zealand. Auckland FC have competed in the FIFA Club World Cup four times so far, while Raja Casablanca's last showing was in 2000, when they became the first African team to compete in this tournament. To say that we're a better squad than last year or the previous years is really hard to say. Look, I, I think uh, personally in, in, in the club, uh, we believe that we're in good space, that we have uh, different ingredients that give, us our, give our game uh, different opportunities, you know. Now, Raja Casablanca's build-up to this competition has been far from ideal. They dismissed their coach just weeks to the competition due to a string of poor results. But newly appointed coach from Tunisia, Fazu Benzerta, says that this will be a motivation for the team to put up a good show in front of their fans. This is exciting because I've coached many teams both at club and country level and won titles with them. Raja has now given me a chance to coach at the world stage in Club World Cup, which is a proud moment. Raja is an important team and we hope we can do well, despite the fact that I only joined just recently. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of uh, fans uh, supporting them. For them it's like, a, it's a great opportunity, you know, to perform in front of their fans and a competition like the Club World Cup, it can't, it can't really get better. FIFA have announced there will be a Madiba moment in every match played at this year's competition in celebration of the legacy of a former South African president, Nelson Mandela. Africa will be hosting the competition for the very first time and there will be another first in this competition, the use of goal line technology. It will be the first time it is being used on African soil. Salasin Karone, CCTV, at the Agadir Stadium in Morocco.